say Allah Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim and start in short cases. Yeah. This patient is 50. He is complaining of shortness of breath. Generally, inspection of the patient tell me what's wrong. Inspection, inspection. It is hot, and therefore this this peripheral cyanosis actually is a central cyanosis. Okay, what are the causes of clubbing and cyanosis in a single disease? Uh, I mean, the most common uh, is uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary. No, this is for cyanosis. Clubbing and cyanosis in a chronic obstructive airway disease, a chronic bronchitis. There is only cyanosis. Okay, the subject. There is only cyanosis. If a patient with a chronic obstructive airway disease go to clubbing, you should think of malignancy. The commonest cause of cyanosis is a chronic bronchitis due to smoking. This patient got cyanosis and the clubbing. What are the causes? No, this is the clubbing. The causes of a clubbing and cyanosis as a single disease are five. Okay? Two respiratory, two cardiac, and one in the heart. The respiratory, because he is short of breath, he is taking he is coughing, therefore, most probably, this is a respiratory disease, not a cardiac. What's the problem? The two conditions causing cyanosis and clubbing in the respiratory system are fibrosin alveolatis, idiopathic or secondary, and the second one is why separate bronchiectasis. We ask in the patient if he got a lot of sebutum, daily sebutum, therefore this is a bronchiectasis. If he got a coughing, shortness of breath, take nick, but no sebutum, this is a fibrosin alveolitis, and this patient got one fibrosin alveolitis actually. Okay? Therefore, this is a clubbing and cyanosis at the same time. Causes are five, only five, not six. Two respiratory, we mention it. Fibrosin alveolitis and why separate bronchiectasis and two cardiac, congenital cyanotic heart disease and SBE, subacute bacterial endocarditis. While the fifth one is a liver cirrhosis with a shunt inside the lung, subpleura. There is shunt in the, in the liver, too, but the, the main shunt is in the subpleura. Therefore, this patient got what? Fibrosin alveolitis. What are the main questions you should ask a patient with fibrosin alveolitis? The age of the patient, Mohan. It is important to ask a boy about the age. If the age is 60 and more, you should think of idiopathic type of fibrosin alveolitis or pulmonary fibrosis. If the patient is less than 50 and young patients, that's most probably congenital and acquired causes. Okay, the first of all, we're asking about the age of the patient. Secondly, occupation of the patient. Occupation of the patient. Is a blacksmith? 
there is the dust and 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 a particle of of of, of the iron الموجودة والفيومز اللي موجودة اللي بال بال بالشغل مالته probably causing fibrosis and alveolitis three connective tissue disorder if you got arthritis by arthritis we mean connective tissue disease connective tissue disease rheumatoid arthritis SRE etc Fifty percent, nearly twenty to fifty percent of cases of connective tissue disease, they do get what primary fibrosis. In the age of the patient, work of the patient, then, and you, he, he said arthritis. We ask him about arthritis, but family, family history of the same disease. That's for congenital type of fibrosis and arthritis. The fifth question, drugs. drug history. Drug history, the main important drug history. All the cytotoxic drug causing pulmonary fibrosis, generalized fibrosis and alveolitis, except gliomycin causes a localized fibrosis and localized pneumonia like. Okay? In general, all the cytotoxic drug causing fibrosis and alveolitis. But some of them it cause what localized type of fibrosis and alveolitis. Good. Second drug? Amiodarone. Amiodarone is antiarrhythmic, class 3, working on the, it acting on the atrium and the ventricle and bundle of Kent. It, bundle of Kent, it joins the atrium right away to the, to the ventricle. It will stop this, this impulse going through bundle of Kent. Amiodarone. But amiodarone, mainly composed of iodine, 45% of amiodarone caused by, by iodine, and uh, amiodarone is, is, uh, is a good antiarrhythmic, but have a lot of side effects. What are the side effects of amiodarone? We write picho. B for bradycardia. I for fibrosis and interstitial fibrosis and alveolitis. C, B, a T, a T, thyroid disease, hypo, hyper. A C, corneal deposition. With H, hepatitis. And in all its other. In other. In the fibrosis and alveolitis in the LRI. In other, they do get the dangerous arrhythmia, they do get the green. They become green in color. That is, that is what amiodarone. Therefore, age of the patient, work of the patient, job of the patient, his family history, his arthritis or not, drug history. What else? Social history, smoking. Whether he smoke or Nowadays, most of the fibrosis and alveolitis are due to smoke. In the coming ten years or twenty years coming on. You will see, if we are living at that time, you see, most of these fibrosis and alveolitis due to what? To smoke. Okay? Good. And then a smoke, e.g. way idiopathic, it comes with idiopathic type of fibrosis and alveolitis. Smokers, they found most of them are smokers. What else? You miss the main important thing, the whole hobbies. Is that it? Yes. What are you asking about the hobbies? Sister. Yes. If he is a bird fancier, small bird, these causing fibrosis and alveolitis. Okay? He is a bird fancier. He is a blacksmith. And he is a heavy smoker. Therefore, and he developed what? Fibrosis and alveolitis. And this is his chest x ray. This is the chest x-ray of the same patient we see <coughs> with fibrosis and alveolitis and he is a heavy smoker with a chronic obstructive airway disease and this is the PA view of chest x-ray showing the heart is nearly normal size heart and why separate fibrosis all over the line fibrosis from the abysses down below why separate fibrosis and alveolitis yeah? The lung is not shrinking because he is hyper, because he is a heavy smoker, 
and he got what? Hyperinflated chest. Okay. Then, therefore, this is the pulmonary artery, white pulmonary artery, indicating that he got what? Pulmonary hypertension. What is the normal pulmonary blood pressure? Normal blood pressure, systemic blood pressure is 120 over 80. If we divide this number on 10, you will get 12 over 8. This is the normal pulmonary blood pressure. Till 20, it is a normal pulmonary blood pressure. Between 20 till 25, this is a gray zone. We don't know what's going on. But definition by of pulmonary hypertension is a, a, is a 25 and more at rest. That's pulmonary hypertension. This patient got severe pulmonary hypertension and he got parasternal heave, indicating what? Right ventricular hypertrophy. And he got cyanosis, therefore he got what? Pulmonary hypertension. Pulmonary hypertension this patient got. Okay? He is going to have right side failure and he go, he's going to have congestive heart failure. That's it because of the widespread of fibrosis alveolitis. The respiratory function test of this patient, it, it showed two types, restriction and obstruction actually. Because he is a smoker. Therefore, this is a fibrosin alveolitis, or called idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. But we know that the causes of, of his of his fibrosis because he is a bell fencer, he is a blacksmith, and he is a heavy smoker. Yeah, okay.